Hi, it's Emily, a contributing blogger over at SecondarySolutionsBlog.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use Bluebrew to really quickly grade your assessments that you create on Google Drive using Google Forms. Alright, now that I'm all signed into my Google Drive account, I am going to create a new form, which is going to be a quiz or a self-assessment to get ready for a quiz, um, and then I'll show you how to grade it. If you're looking for more information for how to create Google Forms or to use Google Drive in the classroom, visit SecondarySolutionsBlog.com and our YouTube channel to see the full video tutorial on how to use Google Drive and create forms. For now, I've already created it. I've included a place for students to give me their last name and first name. I've included multiple choice questions and fill in the box questions. Every question I've marked as required, that's what the red asterisk means, so that students can't submit partially completed uh, forms for me. And now what I've done is I'm going to click View Live Form to create my answer key. So now that I've made it, I click View Live Form. This is what my students will see when they um, click on my link to take this self-assessment. So. I'm going to write my name and I'm going to make the uh, answer key for myself here. And click submit. So now that I've created my answer key, I go back to my form and I scroll down to the bottom and click send form. I'm going to click on this link and I'm going to embed it on my website so that my students can go to my website, click on the link, fill out the form, and I can record their results accordingly. Okay, so I've gone through and taken the quiz several times as fake students just in order to help show you how I would then grade them using Flubaru. So I'm back on my assessment and I look at the responses view responses here and this is my um, spreadsheet that has all of the responses including their names. Then I'm going to go insert script and I'm going to search for Flubaru. And it's going to come up this second one. I'm going to click install. It's going to take a second to install. And once it's installed, I can close this, and now I have a menu here that says Flubaru. So I can click on that, and I can click Grade Assignment. And then I need to give it permission. So I'm going to accept, and then I'm going to go to Grade the Assignment. And it's running the script right now. The first step in grading my assignment is going to be to put assign points for different different questions so you could assign multiple points for some of them one point and then you can tell whether or not something identifies the student. Flubaru does it best to figure out what they think it's going to be um, but then you can double check and make sure. Then you're going to click continue and it's going to take a minute to come up with all of the students that you have here and then you want to pick one as an answer key. So I recognize myself right here, so I'm going to click myself as the answer key. Then I'm going to click continue again, and now it is grading my assignment. It's going to create a new spreadsheet for me with a lot of really great information. So up here at the top, it's always going to have the points possible, the average points, how many students submitted it, and the number of low scoring questions there were so that I can tell whether or not that's an area I really need to go back to. So it's going to have my students here and then their points, their percentages, the time, number of times they submitted. So if I were doing a self-assessment, I might allow them to submit more than once to try to, to figure it out or to try to get to 100%. Anything that scores lower than a 60%, any uh, question that scores lower than 60%, it's going to highlight so I can tell whether or not I'm going to need to go back and check on that. 
Something I can do to make my grading even easier is I can sort by uh, last name in alphabetical order. That way I'm going in order on my roster. If you're doing this for multiple classes, you can also um, go through and sort by period. If you include on your form for students to enter their email address, Fluber will also email students their grades with a click of a button with or without the answer key, which is another right, great option. So that is basically how to use Fluberoo to grade your Google Doc form quizzes or um, self-assessments. If you have any questions or comments, visit us at secondarysolutionsblog.com. Thank you.